So your first 10 steps to open your own home baking business. Number one, perfect your recipes. Don't sell what you haven't got absolutely nailed. It's not, you need to start on the right foot. Number two, learn about food hygiene. Um, you need as legal requirements, you need a food safety certificate level two and you need allergen and labeling training as well. Number three, you need permission to trade from whoever owns your home, whether that be a landlord, whether it be the local council. Um, even if you are mortgaged, you may need permission from your mortgage company. And even if you own your house outright, there may be something called a restrictive covenant on the land deed. So check all of that, get permission to trade. Number four, create a business plan. How are you going to be able to run a business if you haven't worked out how to do it? I'm coming to that, right. Uh, number five, choose a business name. It needs to be clear what you do, it needs to be individual, and it needs to be available on our socials. Number six, work out how to price your baked goods properly right from the beginning. Otherwise, you'll end up in a situation where you're working like a dog and you're making absolutely nothing. Number seven, register as a food business with your local authority. Number eight, get insured. You need public and product liability insurance. Number nine, register as self-employed and learn about how to do your bookkeeping. And number 10, learn all about consumer protection. It does apply. We can't get away with stuff just because we're a small business. Um, so, seems like a lot, doesn't it? It's a good job. Someone's got a load of videos on the YouTube all about it. I'm going to put the links below. And if you subscribe to me and click that bell as well, you'll get a notification every time I release a new video. I do do them quite often.